shot coming. Oh, and then he pumped the side. Yeah. Oh, but that's in it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second annual World Master Athlete Judo Championships being held at La Toile de Cadie here in Sydney, Nova Scotia. We have over 450 of the best judokans from around the world here in Sydney this weekend. And we do have eight hometown Nova Scotians competing in the tournament as well. For the next few hours, you are going to be treated to the best of the best from over 25 countries from around the world. Right now, I'd like to turn it over to our commentators, Mike Soares and Brent Carroll. Welcome to the second World Master Trying Athlete Judo Championships. My name is Mike Suarez, and with me today on this East Link Community Television production is uh, Brett Carroll. Glad How are you doing, here, Brett? Everything's going great. Athletes are competing from all across the world in various age groups at this Master Athlete competition, a competition designed for people uh, 30 years of age and plus who are competing. The uh, competitors have just bowed to the officials. This is uh, part of the official opening, is, is, is it not? Yes. Um, each, all the competitors right now are lined up according to their country. And, uh... Okay, we have uh, two women here, uh, Ju Julie Waitman of England and uh, Angela Thorpe, also of England. They probably have each other's number here. They probably They're fought. probably from the same club. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh there, there you go. And hold out. Yeah. Again, she was countered by her own. She initiated yep. the technique and got countered. Principle of judo, maximum efficiency, use of power. And minimum effort. Minimum effort. If you're a judo player. If you're, oh, of course, yes. If you're just a spectator, it is, I think, most of the one sport that is uh, most difficult to follow. It's the language uh, is not familiar to the public. Uh, the scoring system is, is a, a weird system. I've been fighting this system for a long time, but um, what can you do? Well, it's, they, it's not suitable for the non-initiated uh, non person. Agreed. Agreed. Here we go. Another... Uh, I'm going to stand them up here and yeah. let them get realigned. Women are, are, are such intense competitors oh, when they get very up much there. so. They bring a lot of emotion onto the mat when they, they compete. They want to win. <laughs> there we go. That was oh, yes. successful. Oh, very good counter. Again with the uh, the bad scoring system, a Waziri or a half a point. Three quarter point. This is uh, Julie uh, Whiteman of uh, England and Q Van Murs of England. Uh, she's got her leg trapped here. In a, in a hold down technique, if you can trap your uh, opponent's leg, uh, they won't start the clock until it's... Uh, or stop the clock if there was a hold down called earlier. Yes. You must have uh, very dominant control. Uh, 
Right now, she doesn't have to, uh, she's way up in points. She'll uh, most likely uh, make uh, the other competitor come to her, white competitor here. No, I think oh, she's superior, uh, that's it. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She knew it, I mean, she was so superior that uh, she wouldn't give up. Excellent technique. have it folks the conclusion of the second annual world judo championships from sydney nova scotia to all the competitors what a great job to the fans we were treated to a great weekend of judo here in sydney and it is a sport that is growing across the province and you can see why and you just did see why here on east link we would like to thank everybody involved with the broadcast everybody in the truck all the camera people the producers and of course our great commentators here today as well. So thank you again. On behalf of the entire crew of Eastlink, I'm Jack Bonaparte. And again, next year, it's the United States for the World Masters number three.